How are you? Kevin coming back at you here. Today I'm driving. Woo! Headed, uh, headed on a little work trip here. So I figured I'd yap on camera for a little bit. So I wanted to just have a chat about community and something that I'm seeing a lot lately that really is important and I feel like certain age ranges people tend to be getting involved and a lot of others just want to ignore it and pretend like it doesn't matter. So what I'm talking about is community. So I mean if we look back over really the whole metal community dating back to when I was a lot younger, um, back in the 80s and stuff. You know, it's always been about community. Even dating back to Metallica, you know, there was tape trading going on. It was a worldwide community that, you know, basically people shared music and found out about other bands and then they'd be able to actually go and tour and you know, make a career out of playing music they loved. Ugh. Playing the music they loved. And, you know, without that community, we wouldn't have a thrash metal scene. We wouldn't have a death metal scene. We wouldn't have, you know, we wouldn't have had new metal. We wouldn't have had uh, gent the Swedish metal scene, even like really any, anything, because really what it came down to was it was a lot of like-minded people and those like-minded people got together and whether there was, you know, challenges within the community where you had, you know, a certain band wanted to be the biggest in that community. So they fought really hard to be that or, you know, they actually worked together and created the scene together. I mean, you know, without the big four, you wouldn't have thrash the way it is today, you know? Um, and if there were only three of those bands, they it wouldn't have been as big in general, right? Anthrax brought a, brought a certain crowd. Megadeth brought a certain crowd. Slayer brought a certain crowd. And Metallica brought a certain crowd. But... There was enough crossover that they were able to, you know, have a common draw and have, you know, grow a community. You know, same thing for, you know, the Andy Sneap Forum and SevenString.org and all this other stuff where you had guys like Misha Mansour and Nola England and Keith Marrow and stuff like that, Glenn Fricker. And, you know, I mean, here we are today. Um, eh, probably a little better than 20 years after this kind of started. And, you know, we have entire scenes of music and schools of thought and everything. Uh, and, you know, ha guitar hardware and all this kind of stuff. It has stemmed from community. So I just want to put this out there and, and, really try to emphasize this because, you know, I haven't really played any role in music whatsoever aside from just my own musical journey and, you know, practicing over the years and all that kind of stuff. But in a very short time, I've got involved in communities between the Ola England group and Taylor Danley and Kyle Bull and different stuff like this. And I've gone to two NAMs and guess what? You put yourself out there and, you know, you share with people that you're excited about advancing music forward or advancing your music forward or playing in a band with somebody else or, or whatever you're trying to accomplish. And if you can put it out there in a community, people will actually know who you are. And in life, it's really really not about who you know it's about who knows you because without that 
they just, you know, you're a nobody. So, um, yeah, I, I really want to stress community. It is so, so important for music. Um, for a few other reasons, it's very important at this present time as well. But, uh, you know, whether it's joining a Discord community or a Facebook group, um, you know, take some lessons. Um, just, just get out there, you know? And I feel like millennials get it because I feel like they have been immersed in more teamwork than some of the older generations, some of these elitist metalheads and stuff. And, uh, you know, like when I was putting on shows many years ago, like I try to put punk bands together with metal bands and, you know, it didn't matter if you were death metal or black metal or thrash or whatever didn't make any difference just just play you were you were metal or you were you were heavy maybe you know and and that was it and i never had anything against any of the other scenes uh it just it just helped it helped grow you know we had like i i grew up in thunder bay and we didn't have a very big metal scene but um you know I was listening to a, uh, a podcast with, with Jamie Josta and Dino Cazares, and they actually mentioned Thunder Bay. And it was interesting because back in, I don't remember what year, it was probably about 2000 or 2001, somewhere in that ballpark, we had Hatebreed play Thunder Bay like three times in a month. Um, and it wasn't by accident. The reason was they came through... They had an awesome show. It was sold out. Everybody went crazy. Everybody had an awesome time. And basically, they had so much fun, they wanted to play another show, so they did. And then when the tour ended, if I remember correctly, they were going out west or whatever. They went to, like, Vancouver or something. And then they had to go back to New England. So... They were like, well, let's just do another show with Thunder Bay. So they did. And the crowd was super appreciative and, and all this kind of stuff. And, you know, at that time, we actually had a community. And we were all shooting for the same kinds of things, you know. So, um, yeah. Community, especially now in metal, doesn't mean you have to like everything everybody does or things like that, but just find a group of the people that share a common interest with you. They're out there. We've got the entire world to search now, right? Find those people, make those connections, make an effort to actually connect with these people. You know, earlier this year, well, not that long ago, last month, I went to Nova Scotia and I hung out with a guy I met over Discord in one of these communities, you know. Um, just like I managed to get to go to NAM because of Discord and I got to meet all these really cool people and now, you know, I'm, I'm putting a lot of effort in pushing my, my musical career forward, you know. Community, that's it. If you're not thinking about community, you're missing the boat. And you're definitely, definitely not going to get the things accomplished that you want in music. Or really anything else for that matter. But especially music. Alright. I'm going to get back to driving. I have been hands-free this whole time. So, you know, I'm driving safely. But, uh, yeah. So on that note, peace, and we'll catch you in the next video.